welcome in a new video. If you don't know me, I am Karsa and if you like to support my channel, please do by subscribing and commenting this video. That will mean so much to me. And today's video is gonna be about how to look good on photos. And I already did the part one when I'm talking about how to pose for a photo. And today we're gonna talk about other things such as lighting and all of that stuff to make a great photo and look the best on that actual photo so let's go number one something so 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 important i would say that is like one of the most important thing when it comes to photography is lighting and when it comes to lighting for example when you want to take a selfie of course i think everyone know that that we need to stand in front of the mirror if we are in home this is the best way to like light our face and make our pimples and wrinkles and all of this imperfection on our skin disappear and when you want to take a photo outside you should stand in the shadow and i know that a lot of people think that when you will stand in the sun you will look great but believe me no much better photo you will do when you will stand in the shadow but there is an exception exception is when you want to make a photo during the sunset people call it like golden hour um it's around well sunset depending on the season and to take the best photo during the sunset you're supposed to stand in front of the sun so the sun is like the camera and you are here and this is kind of my new obsession right now taking photos in the sunset they look so good um, the skin is glowing and everything is so pretty and peachy so I highly recommend it if you never try number two is a good camera and actually to take a really good photo you don't really need that good camera like iPhone is completely fine I took majority of my photos by iPhone but now I start using the actual DSLR which I'm having for so many years but I never actually wanted to carry this with me and taking photos but now I realize that even though um, you can have a really good iPhone like I had iPhone 10 before and I thought that you cannot actually have better quality than this believe me the DSLR makes the photo look so clean so professional even though I don't have the best lens or anything so if you have DSLR I would recommend to use it but if you don't the iPhone is completely fine before you go to take your photos um, it's also really good to practice in front of the mirror um, not only you should practice in general like practice your poses to just feel more confident but also to practice the pose that you actually want to have in that day in this outfit that you're having because it's also depending on what, what outfit you have and what kind of photo you want to do um, you need to post in a different way so it's always really good to practice before so then the photo shoot will go really smooth and easy for so many years when I was trying to take a selfie I was following this rule that people are giving that you should take a selfie from like like up and for me it looks so bad every single time and I didn't like it and I feel like you know like a teacher or a mom on Facebook who's trying to take a selfie it just looks so bad for me and I went for an opposite which is something that a lot of people are saying that is like the biggest mistake in photography the biggest mistake in selfie which is taking a selfie from like low low like from the down because apparently you will have a double chin which well yes if you might have it but if you will pose in a correct way you will avoid the double chin and for me and for my like face shape it's just it just works much better because my hat is kind of like an egg and when i'm taking the photo from up it just looks so bad and from the down with a lot of hair it something that i develop works best for me so maybe it will work for you when it comes to location I would actually recommend to check the location first usually when I am um, walking somewhere I am trying to like take a pic or just remember the place so after I can go there and take the actual photo and I actually trying to also match the location to my outfit because sometimes I'm wearing like really romantic outfit that I prefer the scenery with like flowers and something like more romantic and sometimes it's like a super city vibe and then I prefer like the modern um, city two hours later interior 
Okay, so now you are taking the photo and you are practicing the poses that you tried in front of the mirror before. And to also take a good photo, um, it's, it's really good to practice that angle before you go there or just go there, take like a few kind of like um, raw photos that you don't need to pose, you just can you can just stand there and then you actually see which angle will work best for that particular photo and location and outfit. Really good tip also is to check the photos between the shooting because sometimes you will pose for like 10 or 15 minutes and you will be so tired and then you will actually see the photo and then you will realize that the angle was bad or I don't know something was bad or maybe the the location or your outfit or something so it's really good to after every like 20 to 30 photos take like a three or four second look on the photos if it's good okay we will do it if it's not we will change something to make it look better another tip is to take as much photo as possible and now in the iphone is actually really good because you can take like multiple of photos in in um in the same time with dslr it's quite more difficult but still try to take as much photo as possible so then you will have a variety and you can choose the best one when you're choosing the location also make sure that there is not a lot of people around because first of all you don't want any people in the background and second of all you will feel less confident while there will be so many people walking and looking around you so less people the better the last and the most important tip is just to be relaxed and confident with yourself because if you are not, the photo will show it so try to be as much confident as possible because you are beautiful and you are great and we all are and you just want to show it on that photo so that's it, um, I hope you guys like it, let me know which um, tips you maybe used before and which one you like which one you don't thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you want to see more videos like that and i will see you guys in the next video bye and don't forget to subscribe my channel and check out my instagram